Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Pickle Jar. I'm your host, Dave Houghton. And if you can see, I'm wearing my hood because it's freezing out. The last episode, Greg was wearing uh, nothing. He was naked the whole time. And here I am uh, a few days later. Uh, it goes from 90 degrees to 50, and it sucks out. It's pouring out. It's been pouring out for the last two days. Uh, last night, I went to the Red Sox game last night being May 28th. I know this is uh, a little ahead here. May 28th, Friday, it was my third Red Sox game of the, of the season and my third rain out. Luckily, we actually got to play some ball and uh, the Red Sox ended up winning uh, five to two, but they cut it in the six and the tarp went out. Um, there's a video on our TikTok and our YouTube channel of uh, the tarp being rolled out and uh, also right here. You sacrifice the good so, uh, love. I'm, I'm, I'm 0 for 3 for Red Sox games this season where um, I don't I, I either don't get to see the game or I don't see a full game. I haven't seen a full game yet on its actual original day. But anyways, uh, Mother Nature sucks. Uh, Greg gets to do his episode with the shirt off. I have to do mine with my hood on because it's cold in my office. And uh, I had I had really good plans, uh, really uh, great plans for last night. I was going to do uh, I made I made these pickle bags. I made these pickle bags that I was going to pass out at Fenway Park last night. Um, inside, there's uh, some swag in there. There's stickers, um, baseball cards, because I have plenty of them. And I was going to pass them all out. But because the weather was just garbage, I decided against it because no one's going to take it. So, however, after the game was called in the sixth and they rolled out the tarp, I uh, went into the store, the souvenir shop, and uh, on Jersey Street, there's this, uh, the big the big store there. They, they sell the hats and the jerseys and all the overpriced garbage that they got in there. Uh, in the back, um, I believe I, I've mentioned this before, and that's really where I get my baseball cards. In the, the back of the store, there is a discount shop where they sell a lot of um, memorabilia of of players who are pretty much gone. Uh, they got a bunch of Mookie Betts pops, uh, those little pop dolls. I, I know you can see my pop dolls right there. That is from uh, – um, hello, what, what movie is that from? Um, Trading places. Thank you. Wow. What 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 happened to me right there? So, anyways, um they get a bunch of stuff. There's uh, a bunch of um autographed baseballs from players who just suck, like Robbie Ross Jr. and uh you know, all those guys that you you absolutely just hated. But um on the wall they have a bunch of cards and they have a bunch of boxes of cards, and that's where I got that. Tops 88 that we opened in the first couple of episodes. Um, I found something special, and I, I think it would be funny because in the last episode, Greg was talking about how the um, top stadium club was only <laughs> the only cards that his rich friends would get. So, um, so if you if you want to wait 30 years or so to get yourself a box of top stadium club. They're the ones made with the Kodak film. Well, then you just wait 30 years and you can buy a box of 92 Series 3 Top Stadium Club for $20. So uh, that is the box that we're going to open today. Um, this, box, <laughs> this box is heavily taped, so I can only imagine that either one, um, it really didn't hold up in, in wherever they stored it because uh, all the packs are there, or uh, two, they were, um, <laughs> well, they were taking all the good cards out, and they hung them up, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take one sleeve here, and I'm, I'm not going to open up, uh, what do we got here, three, six, nine, there's nine here, I mean, I could open them up nine, but uh, top stadium club, 1992 series three, I, I'm not sure who's in this, um, we're going to try to find, uh, 
Uh, anybody who had their own show on In a Pickle, you can check out In a Pickle at iapradio.com or 365sportscast.com. Uh, if you go to 365sportscast, you can you can see a lot of or listen to a lot of good shows that are on there. So uh, we got a member's choice Robin Ute card when he played for the uh, the old Milwaukee Brewers. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to find anybody who had a show on uh, on IAP. Uh, there's not really, I mean, the cards are really nice. They are they are. Greg was right. There are they're very well done. There's a Brett Saberhagen when he played for the Mets. They're nice cards. They're cool looking. They got a nice waxy uh, waxy feel to it. A lot of it's pictures. It's it's really nice pictures. You know, uh, Dave, Dave Berba couldn't even fit on the card. They were just like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Do, do something at least. Right. We got, a oh, an awesome Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, when he played for the White Sox, that's a great card. I'm also, I would love that card right there. The Bo Jackson card. That's a classic one. Uh, oh, what do we got here? 1992 top seeding club membership. You could be a member of the Tops Stadium Club Club. Wow. If you're members for members only, you get limited edition stadium club cards and a Tops magazine and a personalized stadium club card and ID number. Wow. You can also get uh, special offers for members only on the buying opportunity. But um, it looks like you had to pay here. Baseball stadium club offers six packs and has an asterisk next to it or equ- equivalent to 90 cards, series one, two, or three. That would cost you thirty-one fifty plus $4.50 shipping and handling. That would be a total of $36 uh, unless you were in Canada. That would be nine dollars. So that would be forty dollars and fifty cents. Um, not really much of a deal. That's not cool. Um, but I mean, whatever. You know, people people like to Jody read. Jody read. Uh, people like to uh, become members of of clubs, and that's fine. You can be a member of the pickle club. We'll we'll start a club. We can chuck knoblock. We can um, give you special offers for. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one day I'm going to be able to pass out these pickle bags over at Fenway Park. But um, Jesus, I mean, it's supposed to rain. We're in the Memorial Day weekend right now, and it's supposed to rain until I think Wednesday. And right now uh, at press time, this is Saturday. So we're uh, we're stuck. We're stuck in the house. And today is the first day of uh, masks off. So, uh, oh, here's a check sheet that I can go ahead and check out all my cards that I went ahead and, and got, even though I'm sure, like, a lot of these cards were taken because I'm pretty sure the guy at the counter um, went ahead and dug through these cards. But he left me a Ricky Henderson. That is a cool card. That's an awesome photo. That's, uh, man, Ricky Henderson was the man. That's great. Um, so 92, I, I believe, uh, we can get a Mel Hall in here and they, uh, might be able to get a Sammy Stewart. We got a Nolan Ryan. He was a banker when he retired. Uh, Denny Nagel, uh, Greg was confused at one point. Um, he said the, the wrong person, uh, Danny, Denny Nagel, this is Denny Nagel. He actually really enjoyed prostitutes and got in a lot of trouble for it. We made a little small dill episode about him. Small dill is this show dedicated to the person who's not yet ready for their own in a pickle show. And Denny Nagel was a small dill and he just loved, loved prostitutes. Um, Greg Jeffries. I know, I know. Our Greg from In a Pickle hates Greg's with two G's. 
And there it is. Greg, Greg, Greg. Otis Nixon. Otis Nixon once voted the ugliest person to ever play baseball. Um, he, when he was born, he was already looking like he was 68 years old. So um, he just, and, and the, the later he got, the older he got, lo- older looking he got anyways. So he's definitely a, uh, not a looker. But Otis Nixon did some time with the Red Sox too. Uh, we got a uh, <laughs> Brian Hickerson. Man, he is so happy to just somebody is taking his picture, and he's so excited about it. You want to? You want to take my picture? Wow, that's great. Gary Sheffield, Yankees. That's a nice one. Rick Sutcliffe. Always had like a roundabout hair. Always. Big bad Eddie Murray. This one with the Mets. It's so funny back back in the day where they wore their baseball hat. I don't know if you could see that, but they wore their baseball hat and their helmet at the same time. It's like, man, did did it always just have to be? You know, Rob Murphy, Rob Murphy looks like uh, somebody snapped a photo of him coming out of the bathroom. It's like, hey, Rob, did you wash your hands? Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Stormy Daniels again. Big friends with the former president, as Greg recalled. What is this? This is a top stadium club. Bar baseball analyst reporting system. Uh, it seems like a lot of work. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, oh, Kenny Lofton. That's a great. That's a great picture of Kenny Lofton. That's a nice one. Andres Gara Gara Andres Gara. That's hard to say. Andre Andres Galaraga. Galaraga. Try not to put a. Uh, Oh, good. We get another Jody Reed card. That's cool. That's two. In how many packs did I open? Three. I opened up three packs and I got two Jody Reed cards or two packs. I only opened up two packs. I already got two Jody Reeds. Let's see how many Jody Reeds we can get in this box of cards. We're at two. Uh, all right. Pack number three. Off, huh? well, I guess they've been sitting in a room for a while. Uh, Barry Jones. You gonna take my picture or what? I got beers to drink. That cooler ain't gonna empty itself. And Terry Leach. Terry Leach is like, I will teach you the ways if you just follow me into this dark alley. Um, and we got, uh, we got Corey Snyder. He looks like he's ready to drink beers with Barry Jones. I help you with them beers, Barry Jones. And then, and then this guy, Paul Kilgus, Paul Kilgus looks like he, uh, is in the process of learning how to shave. It's like uh, he forgot the upper lip part. So that's, I guess, hey, you know what? Everybody got to learn, right? Uh, the Hawk. Great picture of the Hawk. Andre Dawson. That's a great picture. Club membership. You want to be on the club membership? Email us at in the pick pod two four seven. We'll send you out a club membership card. Or if you want to join the uh, the pickle club, all you got to do is like and subscribe and follow on all social media platforms. That would be cool. You'll be an instant member. Membership is free. Uh, John Smiley, 
son of Guy Smiley from the um, Sesame Street. Oh, Rick. He's just doing his part. He's just happy to be a ball player. Signing autographs. Giving out his phone number. Give me a call. We can play catch in the backyard. I can come over for lunch, if that's cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many cards you want, want me to open here. Because uh, Andy Ashby. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. This isn't fair. Just just go, come on. Give me the ball. Stop being such a jerk. Give me the ball. Just give me, come on. Howard Johnson. He owned a uh, chain of hotels for a while. I don't really think it was him, but maybe it was his dad. I don't know. Um, man, I wish we can. Frank Viola. Oh, this is when he was with the Red Sox. He's another player. Like uh, I mentioned Jose Canseco back in the day being a huge Red Sox. Fan. Like I'm a huge Red Sox fan. I don't think Jose Canseco was, but, um, when we got Jose Canseco, I was so excited. I was like, wow, I didn't even think Jose Canseco knew that we had a team, even though they played each other countless times. But when uh, Frank Viola came to the Red Sox, I was like, whoa, really? I mean, it was already pretty much past his time. But uh, Dave Winfield popping, popping home runs over in Toronto. Uh, man, cards are a little stuck together. I mean, that's what you get for being in a basement. Um, got a Sandy Alomar, and this is uh Damon Berryhill. There must have been something wrong with the printer because it's cut off here. This is this is like an I, I guess this would be considered an error card, right? This card is cut off, and obviously it doesn't line up in the back here. And this one is too long. And also doesn't line up in the back there. So these are two error cards. Um, it would be cooler if it was an error card of like a good player, but um, Alan Tremel and Damon Berryhill, all these are is trash. So thanks. Thanks to the guy who sold me the box of cards who went ahead and rummaged through the packs already and and i know you did i mean and that was a common thing back then i mean you just you save some cool cards you know and then you just you took some of the stuff that you wanted but you saved me a ken griffey jr card uh i remember um so many people were angry because um ken griffey would wear his hat backwards when he did batting practice and it was so it was so cool. It was really just bringing the uh, the kids into the game. Uh, Kevin Mitchell, I think you need to stay out of the refrigerator. But that's just me. I mean, I also need to stay out of the refrigerator, but, I mean, I don't play professional ball. I sit on a microphone and make fun of people who should stay out of the refrigerator. Donnie Hill. Somebody pitch to me, please. I just, I just want to, I just want to hit a ball. I want to try to hit a ball. So it's like one of those kids in, on my little league team. I, I, I coach. I, I'm not on a little league team. I, I believe I already told you that before in the last episode. My son's on a little league team. I'm coaching the little league team. If I had to play a little league, I'd be the best. Because I'm almost 40, and I could probably rock a ball further than one of these kids. Uh, Ozzy Smith, just waiting to do a backflip. That's cool. Tony Gwynn, he's as cool as the other side of the pillow right there. Uh, oh, God. Another one? Don Robinson. His card got cut off, too. Don. Maybe he was like, don't, don't put my last name on this. 
Well, I mean, we're going to. Uh, yeah, but just just put Don. I want to be like Prince or Madonna. I just want to have one name. Well, he should have picked a better name than just Don. That would have been a lot cooler. Also, that's an error card and I'm not a good player. Jeff Bagwell, he's a um, member's choice, uh, just like the Ken Griffey one that was there. Um, Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox holding it down for the Cubs. That's cool. Bobby Witt. Hey, I'm Bobby Witt. That that's all he says. And and then everybody's like, Oh hey Bobby, how you doing? I'm I'm Bobby Witt. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. How are you? No, Rob, that's me. I'm Bobby Witt. Yeah, we get it, Bobby. We we get that that's your name. Uh-huh. B-O-B. B-Y. The O. W-I-T-T. Steve Howe. Steve Howe. Check out IAPradio.com for the Steve Howe Show. We got one. Got one former story. Phil Plantier, when he played for the Sox. <sighs> one. One cool card. Well, I mean, the Ken Griffey Jr., but I'm really just, like, I'm looking for players who, who've done a show on. But, I, I, but like I said in the last couple of episodes, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that because I'll never get it. Once you make a list, you never get the cards. So Doc Gooden wasn't on my list. Yes, he was. Yeah, Doc Gooden. You can see right here, Doc Gooden, Daryl Strawberry, Mike Tyson. That's a painting. I had made it's a beautiful one i love it uh mariano duncan if i had a, a a baseball card like this i would pass it out still to this day be like do i know you <laughs> yeah doesn't matter if you know me i'm mariano duncan here's my baseball card and then people were like, oh, this guy's serious. Um, club membership. Ozzy Smith waiting again. Um, man, there's a lot of error cards. There must have been something seriously wrong with this printing press. All right, last card, and then... You can get the hell out of here. Save more of these for next time. I also have more of those uh, more of those cards to open up from that value pack. We'll do that in another episode. Um, got here. Mike Jackson. He went on to sing. With the Jackson Five later on in his career. Um, Lance Blakenship. Lance Blakenship. Sounds like a a pirate that failed at being a pirate. Oh, Greg Vaughn. Greg Vaughn got when he played for the Brewers. Club membership card. Ah, Tony Pena. Red Sox. He played for the Red Sox. He was a catcher. I had a cousin that I used to go to the games with that was trying to get into baseball, but like really almost couldn't care less. This is like when Tony Pena was on the uh, the Red Sox. And every time Tony Pena came with the bat, he would go, come on, Tony Penis. And then everybody would stare at us. And he wasn't making a joke. He just, he didn't know, um, <laughs> he didn't know the name. So Tony Pena, if you're watching this, my cousin used to call you Tony Penis. Not me though. You were part of the Red Sox. So I liked you. It, it was, it's so funny. Cause um, 
I would have no idea who any of these people were. Like, really, like, I just, you played for the Red Sox, so you were awesome already. Uh, later on in life, you know, you grow the hatred for Johnny Damon and Jacoby Ellsbury and Wade Boggs and Roger Clemens because they jumped ship and left. And then and you realize it's just a part of life. It's a, uh, it's a game. It's a game. And you love the, uni- oh, you love the laundry, not the player. So that was nine cards of the top stadium club baseball 1992 series three from Kodak. Um, Well, I'm happy I got those two Jody Reed cards, I guess. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, IAPradio.com. Check us out every Tuesday at 4 p.m. 365sportscast.com. Hopefully it warms up. Um, if not, then I guess, uh, global warming is, uh, not real or we're going backwards or it is real. How's global warming work?